on the road again. Getting ready to take the filthy blue 12 valve. I promise you guys, we don't keep it this dirty. We just, it just gets dirty every day here. But anyways, going on a mini road trip to my fiance's parents' house. My little brother, just gotta get in the back seat, do that. And then I'm gonna slide this back. But anyway, so, been putting a lot of miles in that truck. I'm going to do a video soon on that truck, kind of like a 2,000 mile review because I do have 2,000 miles now on the new truck. I kind of review with the new wheels and tires, how the truck's been performing, running, fuel efficiency, things that have changed, stuff that I like and don't like, differences, stuff like that. But we're not gonna be doing that in today's video. But let me know what you guys think. And something I just realized that I really like about this truck is the stance, in terms of how much of the tire and tread sticks out, the pattern, is almost identical front and rear. Same amount. So it actually looks really good. And I actually am really happy that I ended up going with the wheel and tire setup that I did in the rear and it wasn't quite as wide. So it kind of brought that stance to appearance sticking out about the same from the fender front and rear. But anyways, also guys, another thing, the lawn care business has been doing good. The guy's been out crushing it. We also have some clients racking up. So I will keep in touch with you guys more about that and how that's doing, but we're going to get on the road right now. What is up guys? Welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. Hopefully you guys are doing absolutely fabulous. We got a lot of big news coming up and I also want to let you guys know that the giveaway winner for the white 24 valve dually will be announced tomorrow. So stay tuned. You will find out exactly who it is in tomorrow's video. But until then, you guys are just going to have to wait and find out. And also another thing, we are going to be talking about the Mordecai 12 valve build today. Yes, this blue truck where you can hear the two turbos screaming right now, just going down the road here, 45 miles an hour. Um, it's a freaking sweet truck. Super excited about it. It's really awesome. The only thing I want to do today is go through kind of like what's the plan for this truck in terms of what we're actually going to do to it because in terms of a build, there's not really like a ton that's going to happen to this truck in addition to what's already been done. This truck has been done and it's been done right and that's the reason why I bought this truck. Ordinarily, no, I would not have bought a built truck like something that's pretty much in terms of power built. However, this truck being done the way that it was, the guy knew his crap and he did a really good job. This truck has given me zero issues. We've taken it on a handful of trips now and it just runs really, really good. It's not like a truck where it's like, uh, I'm gonna let my fiance go down the road and I'm nervous that it's not gonna start back up and get her home or it's gonna have some kind of issues in the process. Like it just runs really flipping awesome and the guy did a really good job. And when you look at the engine bay of this thing or you look at the frame of the body, it's like you could literally eat your dinner plate off of this thing and not be worried about dust or grime or dirt or like oil or residue like it's so 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 clean it is just ridiculous so anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed the video and uh, we're gonna get into the top things about this truck and then a couple of other things we have coming up here very soon I gotta tell you guys this truck could get you in a lot of trouble very quickly it runs um, really Really good. So guys, let's talk about what we actually are going to be doing to the truck because I know you guys are probably wondering, okay, so you bought a truck, pretty much built, it's fully customized, it's really sweet, but what are you gonna actually do to it? So in terms of what we're gonna do to this truck, we're not really gonna do much of anything to this truck. Now I know that sounds kind of bad if you're supposed to do that kind of stuff, and I know, but with this truck, I'll tell you exactly why we're not gonna do too much to it very soon. You guys will know by the very last couple moments of the video exactly why we're not gonna be doing too much to it. But I do also want you to know that we are gonna do something very tasteful to it and it's gonna really add a good look to this truck. That is going to be a set of 20 by 12 American Force wheels in some mud terrain tires. Now, not anything too crazy aggressive, but it's gonna give the perfect look to this truck and I think everybody's really gonna like it. And so we're gonna go with that on this truck and I think it's just gonna really top off that look. Okay, now the parking lot I was going to make the full walk around video in is actually occupied and the gates are closed. So all I'm gonna be doing is getting out and showing you around the truck and just kind of giving you guys a really good detailed look at the truck. Now keep in mind it is dusty and dirty. It's been pouring rain like crazy and parked under a tree. Hopefully you guys don't mind and just really appreciate the beauty of this truck.
actually just had a fan wave to me. <laughs> as soon as I parked this truck, he's like, dang, what's up, Malachi? And I'm not anywhere near home. This truck sticks out like a sore thumb, guys, I tell you. But just look how clean this thing is. I do apologize for being dirty, guys. We just haven't been home to wash it yet. And let's show you guys under the hood. For those of you who haven't seen under the hood of this truck, Well, hopefully I don't get um, stopped by any more people, but guys, this truck is extremely clean. And I'm gonna go through on this little piece of paper that I wrote down, hopefully we don't get bothered being in the entrance of a facility, but it's, it is gated off right now. Why, why buy a truck that's already got two turbos, a custom exhaust system, a shortened rear end on the frame to make a short bed fit? Like why buy a fully custom, fully custom built truck? The reason for that is, there was no reason. Um, this truck just, I happened to see it. It was a really good deal. The guy had no idea what he had. The guy that traded the truck in didn't want to trade the truck in because he loved it that much, but he just had to out of obligation to get his daughter a vehicle that this other guy had. It was kind of like trading the truck or pay a bunch of cash. Ah, uh, I don't really want to pay a bunch of cash, but I don't really want to trade in the truck. But it just, obviously for some people, it just makes more sense to trade a vehicle for another vehicle, even if they don't necessarily want to. I know if it was me, it'd be like, uh, daughter, you gonna go work and buy yourself a car or are you gonna walk? Because I'm gonna give up my baby for you to have, you know, a nice thing to drive around if you didn't work for it. However, that being said, not the situation. I ended up buying the vehicle off the guy that took it in on trade for a really good deal, wasn't it? It was just a guy that owned it. That's how I got the truck, such a good deal. And it was just super clean. And I don't really care. And sometimes people are like, oh dude, don't buy them built, buy them, you know, buy them stock and build them. But if you can't find a stock truck this clean, sometimes you gotta buy one that's got some stuff done to it just because it's that clean. Like you, a truck this clean, this truck is just as clean as my 2019 right off the showroom floor. In fact, it might even be cleaner in some areas. Like it's just insane. So just keep that in mind guys. When it comes to buy it stock or buy it built, it depends on how hard it is to actually find one of these trucks. If you find one that was done right and it's super clean and pristine, Sometimes it's okay to buy something built if it was done the right way. Plans for the truck, like I said, all we're gonna be doing to this is some 20 by 12 forces. Other than that, probably nothing else, and I'll tell you why. First off, I'm getting married next month, so I'm super excited about that, but we're just gonna be super busy. We've got a lot of stuff coming up. We're just not gonna be able to give it much more attention than that, because we've already got some things we gotta do in the fifth gen, and my fiance's truck needs a couple things done. And so this truck being perfect the way that it is, we're just pretty much gonna leave it perfect the way that it is other than some wheels and tires. So the wheels and tires on this are gonna be for sale for 1500 bucks. They're brand new 33 inch tires, I think 1150 wide, maybe 1250. And the wheels are 20 by 10 XDs. They look brand spanking new, like they've, ne they've never seen salt or anything like that. They are just mint. Both wheels and tires are brand new. 20 by 10s in 33s. So hit me up if you guys want them, 1500 bucks. But we do have some stuff coming up for the fifth gen. That truck's gonna get a lot of stuff shaken off very soon. And I think you guys are gonna really like the direction that we go with that truck. I know some people hate on the Fuel Maverick wheels, but hey, I like them. I think they look good and that's all that matters really. And I think you guys are gonna love what we have coming up next. And one more thing, the coolest thing about this truck that most of you guys don't yet know or you haven't heard me say it, it could be yours. 
starting, let's see, oh, well, you know, Thursday night at 11.59 p.m. Stay tuned because as of May 24th at midnight, which is, you know, 11.59 p.m., May 23rd, you guys have an opportunity to enter to win this truck. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for all the love and support. Tomorrow, you're gonna find out who won the other truck, the 24 valve, the O2. Beautiful, beautiful truck as well. That's a six-speed manual. And then just, I mean, yeah, it's, it's just awesome. And then, like I said, guys, thank you so much for all the love and support. You guys are absolutely killer. I love you guys. And we have a lot of stuff coming up. And also, something else that you guys don't know yet either, we did launch a lawn care business and we're getting booked up pretty quick. We've already got quite a few clients racking up and the guys are keeping real busy. We're also hopefully going to be launching an outfitter business. Yes, an outfitter business in Ohio. And I took a vote on my Instagram and I had a bunch of people DM me, you know, if we started doing deer hunts in central Ohio for a certain price, which was $1,250 per guy for like a four or five day hunt, which is which is really cheap for Central Ohio, not just like any place now, but Central Ohio, that's, that's really cheap. And tons of people messaged me like, oh dude, I'd be all over that, all that. So we're, if we end up getting this property that we're looking at with a cottage and stuff like that, it'd be a very limited number of people that we actually sell a hunt to just because we don't wanna just have tons of guys in there hunting. It'd be a very select number and you'd be the only guy or couple of guys if it's in your group on the property at a time. Like there's not gonna be any overlapping like multiple guys hunting that property at once. It would be like a very select number. But anyways guys, that's just something to think about. If you'd be interested, comment it down below. That's a cheap hunt for four or five days in Ohio. Basically, you'd be able to call in once we get the website set up and if we actually get the property that's not set in stone, you guys be able to call in, choose the dates that you want, get you guys an estimate and what it would cost you to hunt those dates and times and season. And then basically you'd be able to book a hunt and come hunt at the LNP Outfitter property basically. So anyways guys, thank you so much. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Comment down below, subscribe if you're new. Join the team, join the family. Let me know what you guys think of this beautiful 1997 and I'll catch you in the next video.